Okay, um, how to solve by clearing fractions. What they mean by clearing fractions is we need to get rid of these two fractions. Um, and to do that, you got to know what is what is frac what is clearing fractions mean, or what is a fraction? A fraction is division, right? This really says one divided by three. This says three divided by four. So to undo division, we do multiplication, right? Because think about it this way: you know, a number, let's say eight, eight divided by two, and then multiply by two. Well, eight divided by two is four. Four multiplied by two gives you back eight. So it, uh, they undo each other, what we call inverse operations. So if I can take what I'm dividing by and multiply by those numbers, I can get rid of them. So the question is, I'm dividing by 4, so to undo divide by 4, I have to multiply by 4. And to undo division by 3, I have to multiply by 3. Well, which one do you choose? And Because remember, it's an equation. You can't multiply by 4 on this side and then multiply by 3 on this side. Because whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do the same on the other side of the equation. So the correct answer is, I have to multiply by 3 and I have to multiply by 4 by every single term. Because it's an equation, you have to make sure you treat everything equally. So when you multiply by 3 and you multiply by 4, well, that's the same thing as multiplying by 12, right? Because 3 times 4 is 12. So to clear fractions for this problem, I'm going to have to multiply everything times 12. So I'll do negative 2 times, not negative 12, 12 plus 3 fourths x times, eh, let's write that in front, it'll help us out, times 12 times 3 fourths x equals 12 times 5x minus 1 third times 12. All right, so let's go through this. Um, negative 2 times negative 12, negative 24. 12 times 3 fourths, there's a couple ways to do this. You can divide first and then multiply, or multiply then divide. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 divided by 4 is 9. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So either way, you're going to get 9x equals 12 times 5 is 60x minus, same thing, multiply first, then divide by 3, get negative 4. Divide first, which is 4 times 1, which is still negative 4. So now I just clear up my fractions. Now what I need to do is get my variables on the same side. So I have a 9x here and a 60x here. Um, I usually like to get rid of the smaller x first. So to get rid of this 9x, I'm going to subtract the 9x on both sides. So I have negative 24 is equal to 51x minus 4. Then I'll add a 4 to the other side. Therefore, I get a negative 20 equals a 51x. Now divide by 51. And therefore, I get x equals a negative 20 divide 51. And that is how you solve for x by clearing fractions.